Today, we are going to introduce Now You See Me. This story starts from four magicians become one performance group. They steal money from the bank in Paris while they are in Las Vegas. It's the story about the magicians and FBI try to arrest them. This is Jesse Eisenberg as J. Daniel Atlas, leader of the Four Horsemen. He also wrote and acted in the play he wrote himself this year, The Lead Visionist, for which he was nominated for Drama League Award. His major credits include Ascension, The Social Network, Amor in Loan, Zombieland, and The Double. Mark Laffalo was Dylan Rose, FBI agent, in addition to acting in film and stage productions. He also directs, produces, ladies, and even directs the stage. His major productions are This is Our Yours, Awake and Sing, and I Am on Tree, The Avengers, The Last Castle, and more. Uti Halleluson as Marit McKinney, Four Horseman Mentalist. He combines strong acting with charisma. He is an actor who always brings joy and surprise to the audience. His main performances are Cheers, Larry Flont, and The Messenger, The Hunger Games, and Zombieland. Marie Lolan as Alma Dre in Tapur. She grew up in an artistic environment with her mother as a dancer instructor and her father as a voice actor. When she was 16, she visited the set of a film shoot and was scouted. Her major films include My Family, Life is Beginners, Paris, The Last Assassin, and Orchestra and Others. Ayla Fisher as Henry Leaves, The Four Horsemen, Escape Magic. Born in a man in the Middle East, her family moved to Perth, Australia at an early age. At the age of nine, she appeared in an Australian commercial. Her most notable films are The Bojelote, Back and Hair, I'm a Shopaholic, The Love Diaries and Huckabees, among others. Dave Frank as Jack Wilder, the Four Horsemen, Sly Hand Magic. His brother is actor James Franco. His son also avid screenwriter. He has been writing scripts since before he started acting. His major films are Ben Stiller, Life Sucks, The Future You Gave Me, Milk, and 21 Jump Street. Michael Caine as Alsa Tressler, Four Force Man sponsor, millionaire. Born in South London, he became interested in acting at an early age and began his acting career in 1953. His major films include The Zoo War, International Intelligence Agency, and Alfie. He is the author of Detective Sleuths and Rita and the Universal Professor. Morgan Freeman as Thaddeus Bradbury, a former magician who uncovers tricks. He is one of the most recognized actors. In American cinema, he was ranked number 10 at the Global Box Office by actor and delved into characterization. He often praised characters who are calm and dignified. His major films include Driving Miss Daisy, Invictus, and The Collector. He is the author of Million Dollar Baby and Shawshank Redemption. 
favorite scenes in After Four People succeeded in starting money from a bank in Paris. And they were questioned by the police, but so the police not find any evidence of the theft. So the police tried it to get them to confess, but the main characters hypnotized the police and removed their handcuffs. Except Jack had fled. He ran less off with Jack who throws cars and hide behind curtain in a car driven by Alma. Alma feels on Manhattan's freeway with her brilliant driving technique. The box office revenue of this movie is 350 million US dollars in the world and 480 million yen in Japan. This movie was nominated for Saturn Award for Best Horror Thriller Film and Saturn Award for Best Music. The Saturn Awards are awards that have been given to science fiction and horror movies and television programs since 1972. Don't Brace, Soul Series, Kick Ass, and so on have won Best Horror Thriller Film in the past. This movie has various twists throughout the film, and it keeps the audience surprised the whole time. Some of magic in the movies is actually performed by the actors, so you can enjoy it just like watching a magic show. The topics in the movie are clearly explained, which makes it even more interesting. Real magic, thrills, and surprise ending await you. It's a movie like never before, and it's a very interesting movie, so we recommend it. Once upon a time, long, long ago, Mrs. Scrub was looking for food along the river. When she found the rice bowl, as she rejoiced, along came Monkey. The monkey was also looking for food, but all he had found so far was a single persimmon seed. The monkey was hungry and jealous of Mrs. Scrub. Good day, Mrs. Scrub, said the monkey. How would you like to swap that rice bowl for this persimmon seed? Once you've eaten that rice bowl, that's the end of it. But just plant this persimmon seed and later you can eat persimmon to your heart's content. I see. All right. Let's swap them, said Mrs. Crab. No sooner did the monkey take the rice bowl then he groped it up. When Mrs. Crab got back home, the first thing she did was plant the persimmon seed in her garden. The persimmon tree grew up very fast indeed. Now it was a small tree. The next day, the persimmon seed became a large tree. Leaves shot forth, and then finally blossoms appeared. The Blossoms of rising green turned into round fruits. At first, they were green, but gradually they turned red in color. Finally, the tree was covered with delicious looking fruits. Straight away, Mrs. Crab tried to park a persimmon, but no matter what she did, she couldn't reach any. And when she tried to climb the tree, she immediately fell down. All that work and all those persimmon and she couldn't eat one. 
she was at her wit's end. Just then along came the monkey. So many yummy persimmons, monkey said. The monkey was quite jealous, so he said to Mrs. Crab, I climb the tree and get the persimmons for you. Thank you, please go ahead then. The monkey scooted up the tree, brought the ripest persimmons he could find, and began eating them. Mrs. Crab waited down below, but the monkey was gobbling up all the persimmons. Oh, Mr. Monkey, toss some persimmons down to me. Quickly, please, said Mrs. Crab. But the monkey planned to keep the delicious persimmons all to himself. Shut up, monkey said. He picked a persimmon that was still green and hard and threw it at Mrs. Crab. Mrs. Crab's shell cracked. She feigned it. Then, all the baby crabs Mrs. Crab had been about to give a birth to were suddenly born. They were shocked to see their mother lying there unconscious. Together, they lifted her up on their backs and carried her back home. Meanwhile, the monkey had gathered all the remaining persimmons and carried them on his back to his home. The next day, a good friend of the crabs came by B. Hey, Mrs. Crab, come on, let's have some fun, B said. But no reply came from the cottage. Rather, B had the sound of someone softly sobbing. Concerned, B peeked through the crab between the sliding doors. The grievously wounded Mrs. Crab lay suffering in bed. Throwing her were her baby crabs, weeping. Showed the bee slashed in. What on earth happened? said the bee. Mrs. Crab told the bee what had happened the day before. As he listened, he grew quite furious. That no good monkey. How dare he do such a thing? I'm gonna teach him a lesson, said the bee. Then the bee went and got chestnut, moral, and cow down. They went to the monkey's house, but it appeared that he was out. So B, chestnut, water, cowden, and the baby crabs all had the conferences and worked out the strategy. All right, before the monkey gets back, everyone to your battle station, Mora said. They all went to hide in the various place they'd agree on. In place for ignorance of all this, the monkey returned home. He came in, made a fair and relaxed. As the fair burnt red hot, the chestnut burst out from amongst the ashes. The chestnut flew and smacked the monkey's face. It burnt and it hurt. The monkey wanted to slash some water on his face, so he rushed over to the water pot and left the light that intensed be who had been hiding under the light, zoomed straight into the monkey's face and stung him hard. The monkey made a might dash for the door. But waiting for him at the threshold was none other than Cow Dong. The monkey stepped right on it and whoops, slipped and landed flat on his tummy. At that point, Mortar 
who had been waiting up on the roof, landed at the back of the monkey and knocked him over. The dazed monkey's eyes were spinning and now he felt sharp pains all over his body. The baby crab were jabbing and snipping at him everywhere with their tiny claws. Who are you? said the monkey. Mortar sitting on the monkey backs replied, Just think about the horrible things you have done to me, scrub. I'm sorry, said the monkey. B flew right up in front of the monkey's face and said, Hey, monkey face, do you swear you never be bad again? I swear it, I swear it, said the monkey. Escorted by the bee and the others, the monkey went to visit the injured Miss Scrub. Miss Scrub, forgive me, said the monkey. Since the monkey apologized, Miss Scrub did forgive him, and she thanked Bee, Chestnut, Mortar, and Cowdong for their help. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye, said Miss Scrub. After a while, Miss Crab recovered completely. Her children were overjoyed. In due time, the persimmon tree again bore fruit. But this time, the crabs and the monkey cooperated in gathering the fruit and shared their bountiful harvest. Hello everyone, today we are going to introduce China. China has many tourist destinations and many delicious foods, making it a popular tourist destination. We will introduce a lot of China that has a lot of the charm. First, we will introduce the basic information of China. China is located in East Asia within the Eurasian continent. It takes about four hours by flight from Japan to China. China has the fourth largest area in the world, and China has about 25 times the area of Japan. China has a population of about 1.4 billion and has the biggest population in the world. There is such a big difference compared to Japan, which is ranked 11th in the world. 世界で11番目に人口が多い日本と比べてもこんなに大きな差があります。The official language of China is Chinese. All written characters are kanji. However, it is a little different from the Japanese kanji. And it is expressed by the simplified characters. The characters surrounded by lit circles are different from the kanji used in Japan. 中国の公用語は中国語です。すべての文字を漢字で書きます。ですが、日本の漢字とは少し違っていて、簡体字という文字で表します。赤い丸で囲まれている文字は日本の漢字とは異なるものです。Converting these into Japanese kanji looks like this. Why are kanji and simplify different? Because in Chinese, all sentences are written in kanji. Therefore, they simplify the kanji and make it easier to write. それらを日本の漢字に直してみると、このようになります。なぜ漢字と漢体字は違いがあるのでしょうかそれは中国が全ての文章を漢字で書くので、書きやすく簡略化したからです。The kanji surrounded by lead circles are almost the same as the English below. However, the kanji surrounded by yellow circles are a little bit different. The Japanese meaning of the kanji in the upper left is give over. 
the Japanese meaning of the lower right kanji is prefecture. 赤色の丸で囲まれているものは下に書かれている英語とほとんど同じ意味です。一方で黄色の丸で囲まれているものは意味が少し異なっています。左上の漢字は日本では主に自己の権利を他人に与える、譲るという意味がありますが、中国では protect、守るという意味で使われています。右下の漢字は県ですが、中国では country、国として使われています。This is the flag of China. The red represents the Chinese Communist Revolution. The yellow represents light. The big star represents the Communist Party of China. And the four smaller stars represent the social classes of China's democracy. It means the working class, the peasantry, the patriotic capitalists. And the intellectual. The points of all the small stars point towards the center of the big star, indicating unity under the Communist Party. これは中国の国旗です。赤色は共産革命、黄色は光明を表しています。大きな星は共産党、小さな星はそれぞれ社会階級を表していて、労働者、農民、愛国資本家、知識人という意味です。小さな星の頂点は大きな星の中心を向いており、共産党の下で団結することを象徴しています。Next, we will introduce popular tourist destinations.This is w e e l i n g u a n located in Funan.In this place, you can see a rare site with about 3,000 stone pillars over 200 meters. With a total area of 264 square kilometers, you can enjoy various natural landscapes such as lakes, mountain streams, and limestone caves. It was registered as a World Heritage Site in 1992 and became a memorial of the movie Avatar. 次に人気の観光地を紹介します。これは湖南省に位置している武陵源です。200メートルを超える石柱が約3000本も立ち並ぶ珍しい光景を見ることができる場所です。総面積は264平方キロメートルにも及び、石柱以外にも湖や軽量、鍾乳洞など様々な大自然の景観を楽しむことができます。This is Nanjing East Road area of Shanghai. In Shanghai, There are many shopping malls where you can buy high class items and spots where you can buy cheap and good items. There are many shops lined up on both sides, including department store, souvenir shops, cafe, and clothing stores. ここは上海の南人ドンルーというエリアです。上海には高級なものを購入できるショッピングモールから、安くていいものが買えるスポットまでたくさんのお店がありますここは道の両側に百貨店やお土産屋さんカフェや衣服店など多くのお店が立ち並んでいます This is a Wang Fujin Food Alley in Beijing There are many stores ここは北京にある Wang Fujin Chow Kids 街ですここにはたくさんの屋台があります There are many dishes Familiar to you, such as clubs and spring roll. On the other hand, you can also eat strange food. カニや春巻きなど、皆さんにもおなじみのある料理がたくさんあります。一方で、少し珍しいものも食べることができます。For example, scorpion and starfish. I was really surprised to see this photo. I didn't know I could eat both. The texture of the scorpion is crisp and the taste seems bitter. The texture of starfish is smooth and the taste is rich and delicious. They are commonly sold as edible in China. 例えばサソリやヒトデです。私はこの写真を見て本当に驚きました。両方とも食べることができることを知りませんでした。
サソリの食感はサクサクで味は苦みがあります人手の食感は滑らかで味はコクがあって美味しいです中国では一般的に食用として食べられています You learned about the charm of China So we will do a Chinese quiz This is a quiz about Chinese manners and common sense that is different from Japan Please think about the answer 中国の魅力を知れたところで中国のクイズをしますこのクイズは日本とは違う中国のマナーや常識についてのクイズです。ぜひ答えを考えてみてください。Question 1 Which of the following is the correct Chinese manner? 中国のマナーで正しいものは次のうちどれでしょう ?No.1 Eat quietly 静かに食べる。No.2 Leave little food 少し食べ残しをする。No.3 Lift a plate. お皿を持ち上げる。Answer is number two. You should leave a little food. You might think it's a bit strange, but there is a reason. Because the meaning of eating all the food means that I'm not full yet. So it's good manner to leave one spoonful. 答えは2番の少し食べ残しをするです。少し変だと感じるかもしれませんが理由があります。中国では食べきるということはまだ満腹ではないことを意味します。なのでスプーン一杯ほど残すことが正しいマナーです。Question number two: Which of the following should not be given to a person in China? 中国のプレゼントで適切ではないものは次のうちどれでしょう。Number one: Clothes 洋服 Number two, wallet, 財布 Number three, watch, 時計 Answer is number three, watch. When writing a watch in Chinese, they use a kanji that says it ends. It's bad luck, so it's not suitable for gift. 答えは三番の時計です。中国語で時計は終わるという漢字を使用します。あまり縁起が良くないので、プレゼントには向いていません。Question number three: Which of the following should you do when you board a Chinese train? 中国の電車に乗るとき、しなければならないことは次のうちどれでしょう。Number one: Turn off your phone. 携帯の電源を切る。Number two: Book a seat. 席を予約する。Number three: Luggage inspection. 荷物検査 Answer is number three, luggage inspection. Luggage inspection has been conducted since the 1990s. Now it's implemented at almost all stations. 答えは3番の荷物検査です。荷物検査は1990年代から行われるようになり、今ではほとんどの駅で行われています。This ends the quiz. Thank you for your participating. We can't go on a trip now, but I hope you watched our presentation and feel like traveling to China. Thank you for watching until the end. これでクイズは終了です。ご参加してくださってありがとうございました。今はなかなか旅行に行くことはできませんが、私たちのプレゼンテーションを見て旅行に行った気分になっていただけたら嬉しいです。最後までご視聴していただきありがとうございました。
Kenya is a coastal country in West Africa. Kenya は西アフリカの沿岸に位置し、whose capital is called Conakry, with an area of uh, 245 uh, 857 km quarter and a population of 13 million. 人口1300万人、面積24万5857平方キロメートル。首都はコナクリです。Differently in Japan, Guinea is populated by many different people, hence different culture. 日本とは違って、ギニアには多くの異なる人々が住んでいるため、異なる文化が存在します。The best Guinea dishes amount all that we have: ラッチリ and コサン。中でも一番のギニア料理はラッチリとコサン。Rice with fat. ライスウィズファット。And potato sauce left. そしてポテトソースの歯があります。The place to visit are amount other the ladies of Mali on Mount Lura. キニアでは訪れるところがたくさんありますが、今日は三つ紹介します。一つ目は、レディオブマリオンマウントローラ。There is also the veil of the bridge in Kenya. 二つ目は、キンディアにある花嫁のベールに見える滝です。And the island of Luz, which have very beautiful beach. そして三つ目は、きれいなビーチがある島です。素敵な思い出が作れるので、ぜひ訪れてみてください。And for memory, we have among other things, the statue from the Nimba, which is a symbol of Guinea. 次は、おすすめのお土産を紹介します。ギニアのシンボルとされているニンバ。ディタンタン、コール、ディジンベ。ディジンベという太鼓。And they are also clothes, so as the lepi of Guinea. レピでギニアの洋服。And the skirt forest. そしてスカードフォレストという洋服があります。ギニアを訪れた際はぜひ買ってみてください。Since Guinea have different type of ethnic, does mean We are different in Guinea. We have many t y p e of people. And also, we have different t y p e of language. As we said, we have different t y p e of ethnic. We have different t y p e of language. Guinea は大まかに4つの地域に分かれています。各地域ごとに話す言語が違うため、挨拶も異なります。The greeting first in basic Guinea. We greet like w o n w a l i 赤色の地域は沿岸ギニアと呼ばれています。この地域での挨拶はウォヌマリと言います。In Middle Guinea, the greeting is o n j a r a m a 黄色の地域は中部ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はオンディジャラマと言います。Upper Guinea, i n i k e 茶色の地域は上ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はイソマと言います。And the Forest Guinea is b e l e 緑色の地域は森林ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はバレットと言います。Thank you for listening. ギニアを訪れた際はぜひ使ってみてくださいこれでギニアのプレゼンテーション終わりますご視聴ありがとうございました Kenya is a coastal country in West Africa. Kenya は西アフリカの沿岸に位置し、whose capital is called Conakry, with an area of、uh, 245 km q u a r t e r and a population of 13 million. 人口1300万人、面積24万5857平方キロメートル。首都はコナクリです。Differently in Japan, Guinea is populated by many different people, hence different culture. 日本とは違って、ギニアには多くの異なる人々が住んでいるため、異なる文化が存在します。The best Guinea dishes amount all that we have: ラッチリ and コーサン。中でも一番のギニア料理はラッチリとコーサン。Rice with fat. ライスウィズファット。And potato sauce left. そしてポテトソースの歯があります。The place to visit are among other the ladies of Mali on Mount Lura.
キニアでは訪れるところがたくさんありますが、今日は3つ紹介します。1つ目は、レディ・オブ・マリオン・マウント・ローラ。2つ目は、キンディアにある花嫁のベールに見える滝です。そして3つ目はきれいなビーチがある島です。素敵な思い出が作れるのでぜひ訪れてみてください。And for memory, we have among other things the statue from the Nimba, which is a symbol of Guinea. 次はおすすめのお土産を紹介します。ギニアのシンボルとされているニンバ。The Tantan called the Jimbe. ディジンベという太鼓。レピデギニアの洋服そしてスカードフォレストという洋服がありますギニアを訪れた際はぜひ買ってみてくださいギニアはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアにはギニアは大まかに4つの地域に分かれています。各地域ごとに話す言語が違うため、挨拶も異なります。The greeting first in basic Guinea. We greet like、Wonwali. 赤色の地域は沿岸ギニアと呼ばれています。この地域での挨拶はウォヌマリと言います。In middle Guinea. The greeting is on Jarama. 黄色の地域は中部ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はオンディジャラマと言います。Upper Guinea, i n i k e 茶色の地域は上ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はイソマと言います。And the forest Guinea is Bele. 緑色の地域は森林ギニアと呼ばれ、挨拶はバレットと言います。Thank you for listening. ギニアを訪れた際は、ぜひ使ってみてください。これでギニアのプレゼンテーションを終わります。ご視聴ありがとうございました。I'm Ayumi. I'm Kim. I'm Takumi. And today we'd like to introduce to you the Okinawan diet. So we hope you like it. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to introduce to you the Okinawan diet. People around the world have become interested in it as a way to live a healthy and long life. Okinawa is a prefecture of Japan located on the Ryukyu Islands. Okinawa Prefecture has a population of over 1.4 million people and has a geographic area of 2,280 square kilometers. Compared to other parts of Japan, Okinawa is a subtropical island, so it experiences an average temperature above 68 degrees Fahrenheit every year. Why are people interested in Okinawan food culture? It has one of the highest percent of centenarians in the world. 68 people out of 100,000 are over 100 years old in Okinawa. And diet is said to be one of the best reasons. The traditional diet included many vegetables such as soybeans and bitter gourd. Therefore, the traditional Okinawan diet was rich in antioxidants. The calorie intake in Okinawa was 11% lower than, the, than of healthy adults in other cultures. Because of this, researchers say that calorie restricted diets are one of the big reasons for longevity. Here are the foods you should eat and avoid on Okinawan diet. There are some foods commonly eaten in Okinawa that you might find easy to enjoy. First is Okinawa soba. The soup is pork bone and bonit soup. 
It has rich and deep flavor. Another is Goya Shampoo. It's made with egg, tofu, and bitter vegetable called Goya. It's slightly bitter but delicious, and it has a lot of nutrition. However, there are some foods you might want to avoid. First, Yagijiru. This is a soup made from stewed goat meat and bones. The reason why you should avoid this is that it has a very strong smell. Next is Tofuyu. This is a fermented tofu. This smell is very strong. It's rich and tastes like sea urchin. There are many other delicacies like this in Okinawa, but it might take time to get used to them. Now here are the health benefits of the Okinawan diet. One reason the Okinawan diet is considered healthy is that it's rich in fiber. Researcher has found that every 10 grams of fiber, fiber you, eat, you eat is associated with reduced risk of cancer. And people who often eat fiber-rich foods had reduced risk of death from any case compared to those who used to eat less fiber. The Okinawa diet is primarily plant-based. It has high amount of fruit and vegetables. Most vegetables are low in calories but high in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. However, some vegetables stand out from the rest with additional proven health benefits such as the ability to fight inflammation or reduce the risk of disease. There are many benefits you can get in the Okinawan diet. However, there are also some potential downsides to it. The first downside is that the traditional Okinawan diet excludes different groups of food, many of which are quite healthy. It contains very little fruit, nuts, seeds, and dairy. This is because these types of food were not easily produced in Okinawa. Collectively, these foods provide an excellent source of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that can boost your health. The second downside is that it can be high in sodium. Some versions of the diet can have as much as 3,200 mg of sodium per day, which may not be appropriate for some people, particularly those who have high blood pressure. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium intake to 1,500 mg if you have high blood pressure and 2,300 mg per day if you have normal blood pressure. How can people try the Okinawan diet in other countries? There are so many recipes for the Okinawan diet, but many of them include ingredients that you can get only in Japan. So I will tell you what should you avoid. First, you should drink tea or water instead of juice because most of juice contain a lot of sugar and change to a vegetable-based diet. There are more foods that you might want to avoid, for example, processed meats like bacon, salami, hot dog, dairy products like cheese, yogurt, and butter, and baked goods like muffins, cakes, and brownies. Is this diet the only reason for the longevity of older Okinawan people? Another reason is that people living in Okinawa have a very high ability to relieve stress. They live by a slower reason called island time and close relationships between neighbors support people's mental health. Research has revealed that homocysteine an inflammatory amino acid that caused heart disease is low. It turns out that the risk of heart disease is up to about 80% lower than that of Americans. Although the Okinawan diet has many positive health effects, some people may prefer a less restrictive or less carb-heavy diet. Many aspects of the diet may benefit your health as it includes vegetables, fiber, and antioxidant-rich foods combined with its restriction on sugar, refined grains, and excess fat. Aside from this diet, daily exercise and mindfulness may also provide measurable health benefits. These principles can likewise be applied to many other diets and lifestyles. If you're still not sure whether the Okinawan diet is right for you, consider talking to your dietitian to create a plan that fits for you. 
in conclusion, the Okinawan diet is based on the foods and lifestyle of Okinawan islanders in Japan. It emphasizes nutrient dense, high fiber vegetables, and lean protein sources while discarding saturated fat, sugar, and processed foods. Although its benefits may include a longer lifespan, it can be destructive and high in sodium. If you're interested in improving your overall health and boosting your longevity, the Okinawa diet could be worth trying out.